it's really just the fish skin. I never had this before. Let's have a first bite. Mm. Mm. Hello everyone, welcome to DS Travel. I'm Dan. It's another great day in Guangzhou and we're starting out early to try some of the best um, Cantonese dim sum to go style. It's gonna be packed with a lot of amazing Cantonese street food. I can't wait. Let's go. Alright guys, I just got my dim sum from this called Bao Dao Gang Shi Dian Xin Dian Bao Dao Cantonese Dim Sum Shop and it's actually fairly special they are serving like to go and fast food type of dim sum and usually this kind of places in other parts of China is selling like either you know pot stickers or just bao zi but in Guangzhou they're selling Cantonese dim sum and it actually looks quite good and it's really popular and what I have here I ordered um, three different items and total is only like 16 Chinese yuan really affordable and let me show you guys the first I have here is shrimp sao mai seaweed roll and pork dim sum it's four pork dim sum one seaweed roll and you know, three gigantic shrimp sao mai it's for like 16 Chinese yuan that sounds like a good deal to me let's get started and give it a try okay let's start with this shrimp sao mai mm. It's actually quite flavorful. When you first bite into it, your teeth touches that bangsu shrimp on the very top, and that wrapping, the black wrapping, it's actually bangsu and chewy. It's pretty nice. And when you really bite into it, that meat feelings is really, really soft, you know, really smooth. But it also has a pieces of a water chestnut in there, so a little crunchy texture when you start to chew. It's really a nice combination of different kinds of texture. Bangsu, chewy, crunchy, soft. Phenomenal. The seasoning is relatively mild, not too salty, not too light. You no, know, I, I think it's just right. And what really surprised me the most is that the shrimp is still bouncy. Pretty good, pretty good. Next, let's try the seaweed roll. It's wrapped in seaweed and I think this is um, probably a mixture of uh, starch and meat. Mm. It's really bouncy when you bite into it. And the seaweed really aromatic and really nice seaweed you know, oceany kind of flavor it's been steamed so it's not crunchy it's pretty soft but inside really bouncy that feeling you can taste that nice meat feeling it's like a meatball like a bouncy meatball nice combination of the porky meaty goodness with that you know seaweed oceany flavor love it all right let's try their signature sao mai okay look at this it looks um fairly normal like yellowish skin like typical cantonese sao mai Mm. Mm. When you bite into it, skin, bouncy, chewy, and that meat feeling, it's actually a little bit on the sweet side, but you really feel that porky, umami, meatiness, relatively on the sweet side, but it's really flavorful. Oh, oh, and just the right amount of bounciness, and you also have, I think, quite a bit of fat, so give you that burst of the juices, you know, that texture. Oh, it's actually pretty flavorful. I just had a three uh, dim sum. That's actually pretty good. It's not up to the level of like high class restaurant where they made it fresh because this is sort of like, like fast food to go places. But it's something really worth trying and they really got the seasoning done. And pretty nice. I mean, if you come to Guangzhou and you don't have time for a real Cantonese dim sum, you know, just stop by and just take like less than five minutes and you're good to go. All right, let's go for our next time. Guys, right up front of the main street, inside a small alleyway, is one of the old Zhu Jiaojiang place in Guangzhou. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, I'm at Juanli Di Jia Zhu Jiaojiang. And what I have here, this is um, Zhu Jiaojiang, what they are famous for probably been stewing for a long long time and also I also ordered a soup this is I think it's called Bang Gui Ji Zua Tang Chinese herbs with the chicken feet and right outside they have a pot 
that's been used for so long it's like covered in sort of like the stewing grease or whatever you call it and it's just really dark and <laughs> looks like it really has a lot of history in there and so we definitely have to try this you know pig feet ginger okay let's start with that zhu jiao jiang oh oh this is actually really flavorful different from the one we had the other day this one sweet and sour the sour hint is actually uh, more pronounced there is also a ginger hint in there that this broth is actually really nice oh let's try the ginger ginger is so dark and you, you can barely tell it's ginger now mm. oh. still very gingery and it's actually got a nice crunch you know almost fruit like texture but it's really gingery and stimulating interesting definitely something worth trying okay now let's try the egg oh the egg is becoming a little hard a little crunchy not a bouncy egg white but it's still really flavorful this is the egg yolk mm. Oh, really fine, smooth, crumbly kind of texture and also soaked through with that soup base sweet and sour and, and eggy Okay, now let's try the pig's feet mm. Love that, love that It's sweet, a little bit of sourness and th that texture is just really bouncy and jello like okay, One more bite Mm. They had two different parts, one for the pig feet, one for the egg and the ginger. So they can control exactly the cooking time for each ingredient. Mm. Okay, let's switch to the soup. You definitely get a Chinese herbal kind of flavor in there. Slightly bitter, slightly sweet, there is a sweet aftertaste. And it's really mild. Let's try the tea. Mm. The chicken feet, you know, it's off the bone. It's almost melting away. Still a little bouncy gelatinous, but it just means with your tongue, it just melts away. And by itself, it doesn't really have a much strong flavor. It's just that a soup, nice Chinese herby, a little bitter sweet flavor in it. Mm. Mm really i mean i feel healthier already it's it's really like comforting soup all right let's go for our next mm. Mm. guys right up front is also one of the most tried restaurants in guangzhou and they're serving something really special it's fish skin let's go check it out Guys, I'm at Chen Tianji Yu Pi, and Yu Pi is basically fish skin. That is two bags of fish skin, and this is a Chao Yu, and this is Li Yu. Honestly, my fish vocabulary is kind of limited. I am not sure what their English name are. Both of them cost 55 Chinese yuan, and it's really just the fish skin, and it's mixed with I think scallion, ginger, some um, peanuts, and some soy sauce, I think looking very nice i never had this before let's have a try okay let's start with that ling yu first wow look at that it, it's a thin stripes uh and it does look different from the chao yu let's have a first bite mm. Mm. crunchy really crunchy it's al almost like a like soft bone Whoa. really interesting and the seasoning you can taste uh, like sesame oil aroma with some sesame and some soy sauce so slice savory slice sour the season is not overpowering you're tasting mostly like fresh and really really crunchy texture amazing all right one more bite mm. Mm. 
sesame fragrance really comes through so it's really aromatic but it's also like savory and really really crunchy soft bone like crunchiness amazing okay let's try a different fish skin so this is the skin of Cao Yu and right off the back you can see it's um, wider, thicker looks a little harder as well first bite oh. this is even crunchier how did they do it? I mean it's also like soft bone but even crunchier a little gelatinous kind of texture Oh, one more bite. Mm. There's a little hint of that fishy taste, but mostly it's really fresh and you don't really taste any uh, fishy odor. The Cao Yu do have a slight hint of that fishy flavor. So if you don't like the fishy flavor, go with Li Yu. But if you're fine with both, you know, keep both a try. I think personally, I would prefer Li Yu a little more. Alright, let me work on my fish skin. I'll go for one more stop. I'm feeling for some ice cream after all that savory street food and I know just the right place right up front this place has some of the best and most unique ice cream let's go check it out Guys, I'm at Sun Ji Bing Si. Bing Si usually means ice cream shop, but they got all kinds of stuff from savory to dessert to drinks, whatever you want, they have it. But I'm here really for ice cream. Here, this is durian flavor and this is coconut flavor. Looking very nice, um, but they're not cheap. Both of them together is 30 Chinese yuan, 15 each. Let's start with the coconut flavor. First bite. Mm. It's really rich coconut milk flavor. Rich, creamy, and really cooling. Very nice. I love it. Oh, really rich and creamy coconut milk flavor. And it's really, really smooth. You don't taste any of the crumbly ice. It's just really smooth, really high quality ice cream. Love it. Oh, let's get to the durian flavor before it gets cold. Durian, it's one of those fruits you either hate it or you love it. And it really got a nice pungent aroma to it. Okay, first bite. Oh. Phenomenal. I mean, rich, milky, but very, very strong and potent durian flavor. Really nice. And it's also sweet and creamy as well really smooth oh and that that unique durian aroma my mouth is full of that unique durian flavor oh really nice really nice exactly what i need in the hot day of Guangzhou. Mm. if i really need to compare I still prefer the coconut a little more, but I just know personal taste. 